to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I'm Deanna. I'm Justin. And we are here to do a fun mother-daughter project today, just like we did at Halloween when we did our, remember when we did our dyeing with the sprinkles? Yeah. We did our dyeing with the sprinkles, if you remember that episode. And we, we used the microwave and wrapping the wool in saran wrap, right, to heat it, to set it that yeah. way. Well, we're going to do something different today. We've made some mistakes because it's us and that's how we roll. Yeah. <laughs> But what we did right was we have these beautiful under dyed, this is like Briggs and Little three ply wool it yarn, is, is orange and yellow, two purples and two pinks. So let's color these with non-toxic food coloring. Now food coloring, we're still gonna wanna set with heat. And the way that we're gonna do it, just to show you in advance, is once Jocelyn decorates a skein, I'm going to have the pot on the stove, right? Um, boiling underneath with just a little bit of water in it, right? Now when you're doing this, you don't need designated pans because we're working with food coloring. If I was working with chemical dyes or garment dyes or something like that, it would be very different. But we're working with food coloring, so this is non-toxic stuff. You don't need designated stuff. I'm gonna be putting a, an inch or two of water into the pan, and then I'm gonna be putting this steamer basket on top. It rests on top, not touching the water. So the water's just below. And I'm gonna put her finished stuff in here to steam. So it sets it with steam rather than water because if I put it straight into the water, it's probably going to just wash right out or go all watercolor on us. So that is the idea. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Should we tell them what we did, what I did? We got a beautiful Spice Select brand of neon colors. What colors are in there? Um, green, blue, pink, purple. Yeah, and then we got this beautiful set of Wilton icing colors and I should have known, the clue is that it says jars. That's not so good for us. It's not liquid, it's like a gel, like solid, like it's concentrated jello. So we're gonna see how this goes because this is our neon set and this is our pastel set. We were kind of excited to do both, um, but I was a bit um, confused and forlorn when I saw these jars come out. So let's see how that goes. Now, okay, fingers what crossed, what color do you wanna do first? I'm gonna do neon. What color of the background? Oh. It kind of like starting with white and black kind of white, so okay. I choose that. Well, we don't have any white. We have only, we're over dyeing here. So I've already got this, like I said, dyed in an escape. So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna let you go to town. You wanna take all your dyes out? Yeah. And then we've got little, we've got little spoons here for the gels and we've got um, toothpicks. So you can, I'm going to leave it up to you as the artist to decide Those how are you going to decorate. Very they are beautiful. They're supposed to be pastel. I don't have my glasses on, but it looks like peach. What is it? Peach, cornflower blue. What's, rose petal pink. Rose petal moss pink. green. And moss green. So that sounds really nice. These are just so jelly and concentrated. I'm just spooked. Let's see how it goes. Now, you could do a lot of different things. You could use the squirt bottles, the hairdresser squirt bottles we sometimes use. I think you're just gonna go full blast, dropping it from the little dripper built in onto your thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, normally we would have on a mask and a glove if we were doing chemical dyes, but we don't need to do that with food coloring because it's not toxic. So go for it, lady. Bring it. You want me to open it for you since this is your new dress? Let's get this, like, here. There we go. All right, here we go. So these have built in these kinds of little dropper things already. Now you could, you know, also equally put this into a little container with an eyedropper if you want it to be super precise. We're fooling around, mother and daughter fooling around times. Are you sure you want to do the blue onto the yellow? I'm not second guessing you, I'm just saying. That's yellow? I'm sorry, pink. Okay. Or do you want to do the purples? We've got to keep moving. I think blue. Okay. Blue, blue and light purple. Um, okay, sounds great. So she's going to do some trippity drops. Yeah. And remember, are you only doing one color on here? I'm just asking because if, if you're not, you might want to leave space for other colors. Keep going though, keep going. Control I freak. Think, I think I might do like a couple of colors. Okay, I think you should. I will flip it for you at some point. I think I will get some gloves just so my hands yeah, don't turn blue. Is it? Squeeze it more. Ooh, oh, okay. Yep, that's all right. You didn't get me. You did get your face though. That worries me because you're having your photograph for your dance, your dance, um, whatever event in an yeah. hour. Hopefully that comes off. Oh, you can have your mask on anyway. There we go. Yeah, they are hard to squeeze, huh? Try to point it down a little bit. Oop. 
can go like this. Oh yeah, you can go like that. Careful, careful here. There she goes. Nice. How about over here? And over here. Yeah. I like that color blue a lot. Now you gonna you wanna put that one over here? Oh here. my god. I know. Here. It's like crazy times. Yep. That's really pretty. It's really pretty. Now how about another color? Yep. Purple and purple. Yep, be careful. You know that uses that used a lot. That used a lot. That used half the bottle. Keep going, babe. I'm gonna try to not go crazy too. Oh, you didn't go crazy at all. It actually looks really pretty. You can see how it's kind of breaking down like into the lighter. Cake. Keep going. It looks like a birthday cake. It does. Well, I think it's because we have the neon well, this colors. Is pretty black, actually. I don't think it's gonna set black though. It should set neon purple. We'll see what it does when it goes into its little steamer basket. Yeah. Not too fast. Make sure you get over at the edges. Oh, Oops. Oh, all right. Yeah, I got it that pretty. time. Yeah, it is pretty. Whoa. I know. So, all right. Come over here. Oh, I barely used it. Do you want to do a little bit on the edges that you missed? You want me to flip it for you? Um, Let me flip it. Hold on. I'll do one of these guys. Hopefully it doesn't do anything to their back. Yeah. Careful, careful. Whoa, Ooh, I'm standing back. Okay, you just go like that. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Sometimes I do. Yeah, I mop it up with that. That's what I do. And then I use every little bit. Really, really bit. Did you want to put some blue on the back too, so it's kind of equal front and back? Mm, well, when the the back's not going to be as crazy. No, that's not as crazy. But remember, when it's wound, we want it to be pretty consistent. You know, when you give it a flip, just give it a careful flip. It's not a big deal. It's not rocket science, rocket surgery. It's nothing like that. You just give it a good old flip. Did you want to put one more color on? What do you, what's your feeling? No, I think that's pretty good. Yeah? Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this in the steamer basket. Oh my God, my and I'm going to put it over the stove. Oh, that's yeah. so pretty. It's real pretty. I'm going to do this right into the steamer basket. I'm going to put it over the pan on the stove that's already boiling. So I'm not putting this in boiling water. I'm letting the boiling water, the steam, get to this and set it. I'm going to leave it on the stove for about 20 minutes, half hour. And in the meantime, I'm going to get, I'm going to clean this area up and I'm going to get another one going for you. So, you know, these are not toxic and they're definitely coming off like dye comes off. But man, we got our hands dirty that first round out, huh? Mm -hmm. We have our gloves on now just because we have a dance thing tonight and it's picture night, unfortunately. So we are gonna be, we're gonna be pink, purple, and blue. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, but you know what? It adds a little pizzazz to the photo and the theme is ice cream, right? So we've got our second one down. The first one is in the steamer basket, steaming away like crazy. And you've picked your two colors for this. Let me get this out of your way. Let's tuck this in, baby. Get it out of my way. Yeah, it's out of your way. Without my belly shirt. Without your belly shirt. Here we go. Okay. I'm just gonna do this and then I'll get it, I'll put it in there when I'm, you is done. I'm gonna done. try to not use that much blue. Okay. I want it to be mostly bloody, mini mossy blue. And don't forget about these little devils oh, yeah. over here. Yeah, because we don't know what the what the gel is gonna do. Actually, but. I kinda want to put when it, the, the peachy color on this. I too. think you know what, I can't tell. If okay. this is the rose and this is the peach or what, but one is one and one is the other. I was fooling with the caps. So let's see. Yeah, I think slow and controlled is great. I was fooling with the caps. You were fooling with the caps. It wasn't me. I mean, it wasn't me. That's what I meant. Keep going, babe. Not too crazy. Only pretty blue Do you want me to flip it? Or do you want to do your other colors and then I'll leave, you can leave the cap off because when we flip, we're going to do the other half. So she's going to green now. The lady knows what she likes. Green and blue. <laughs> and almost knocking down the blue. And Ted's having a good old swing in the hammock. What well, we use the hammock as a swing, we are weird. No, it's good to use the hammock as a swing. As long as no one flips off the back and lands on their neck or something. Oh, that green is really a pretty spring color. Make sure you... You know, always get out to the edges too. You don't want this this area to be left out of the party. I want to see if I accidentally spilled some. No, I think you're good. Oh, you now up. I spilled some. You're good. Oh, you're mopping it up. Yep, mopping it up. I'm not afraid to touch it now because I have to pull out. That's right. I'm worried about your pretty new dress, but 
It should come out, even if it hits it. I mean, it's not toxic. Mm. True. Are you going to do one more color before we do the flipperoni? Yes. One of these. I don't care which one. I think I'm going to do the red. Yeah. Now, what's your technique going to be with this? Um, I want to see how it looks. Strike this way. Ooh, that's Ooh it's nice. very gel, isn't it? Very gel. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Ooh, that's pretty pretty. Mm -hmm. I'll hold it for you. I hate when I accidentally say pretty pretty. I mean kind of pretty. It's super pretty. Yeah. This is going to be a nice combo. I have no plans for this yarn. I think what I might do is save it up until you do me another one of your custom designs and hook something of yours. I think I need to do a spoon. Yeah, you'd rather go for the spoon? All right. So this will be the designated spoon. I'm using the back of the spoon. Okay. I feel like that's going to be a little more precise because you can go like that and the, then you use this. Yeah, it looks real precise. Rub it in. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Looks, looks good. Gel there. Put some up here. You excited for your tap dance tonight? I'm really excited. I love tap. Hey, you might be a movie. Long. Should we do a part two with more of them? I think we'll do, we won't do all of them on camera, but we'll do, when we do part two tomorrow, we'll show all the finished ones and how they all came out after we steam them and set the color. What do you think of this method, Joss, versus the sprinkles that we did last time? I think the sprinkles was a little cooler because it was chocolate and they made like this cool brown design. Mm -hmm. It did. So this is a. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and see. I'm gonna reserve judgment like here. Like Let me flip this over. I'm gonna reserve judgment because I want to see how they come out, and then I think we can truly compare. Oh, well, there's already some green on the back. Yep. That's why when I was marking it. Right? So you're gonna do the back the same as the front here, right? Yeah. And what did you this think about? Green. Definitely easier using the squirt. That's green. So that's okay. You had green in the. That's a little more precise. This. So these are a little bit more precise from the point of view of a kid. If you're doing this with um, a child or a grandchild, um, the gels, you don't hate the gels as much as I do, huh? Yeah. You feel you can work with them. So that's some good feedback from a kid. I prefer personally, by the look of it, the, the squeezy things are more liquid and for me more familiar. Do you want to try with the purple? Yeah, thanks. I'd love to. Set. I'd love to. They go fast, man, I'll tell you that. That's one thing about these things, they go fast. Be real careful if you're choosing a squirt, a powder, or a gel, which will say jar. Um, so that's a bit tricky. I think I'm right at the end of this, Jess. Look at that, we used all the purple. Is that a heartbreak or is that all right? It's all right. I still got pink, think we have a it, and some more blue and green. What do you think, should I put this one in? Are you done fooling with this one? Or are you gonna do more action with gel? All right, you can do a little more with gels? Yeah, um, the gels are precise. If, if, you get, if you get gels, they're a little harder, but they're a tiny bit more precise. Okay. Like that. They're more precise. This is a real to, pretty um, combo. What would you call this color if you had to name it? It's hard before we see how it actually comes out. But if you were to name it right now, I think I would call it... Um, the, the first thing... That caught that caught my that caught my mind was moss fence. Moss fence. In two seconds, that's all it came. Maybe this color because is called that's moss, moss fence. And that looks like a little bit like like um the the, the like fence. the fence. Yeah. And there's um like a different color, like the red, kind of looks like the, the plant hmm. growing in between. I was gonna say moldy spaghetti squash. So I think yours is way better. So you know what we'll do? Because I think this is going to take some time and we got to do some tap dancing tonight too. We're going to finish doing our painting of the last four. We're going to finish setting them all the same way, putting a steamer basket into the pots. Again, the water not touching the basket, just letting the steam do its job. About 20 minutes, half hour, setting them all that way. And then we'll do part two tomorrow where we show, we'll probably dress the same because we do that, don't we? Even down to the peeps earrings, right? Yeah. We'll show you how everything came out tomorrow. So one of the things we just found as a side note is with these gels, it's, this is actually working kind of well. When you scrunch them like this, 
Um, you see the kind of thing it's doing. It's moving the color around. Now, this is definitely a with gloves project, but doesn't that look nice, Joss? Doing a bit of scrunching and mopping up like this underneath. She's helping with the scrunchies. And I can go like that. Yeah, it just gives you a bit more coverage. Um, it, it's a bit more uniform this way. We will see how this turns out. I have to take a little more of the video because this lady has gotten deep into technique with your gloves. <laughs> so what exactly are you doing, Joss? I was thinking, if I put the moss green in this beautiful blue, what is this green? Is that cornflower? Yeah. I'm thinking of putting them on top of each other uh -huh. and then let it dry a tiny, tiny bit and then put some paint on it. Okay, cool. Can you show us the technique that you're doing with the, with the mashing? You look like you're making um, ravioli or something over here. So you're putting a little bit of the gel on precisely with the toothpick, right? No, I'm, I'm using the spoons. Oh, you're using the spoons to put it on a little bit. And then you give it the good old mashup. This is like some green. I put it over here. And Just dab in the yeah. green from the gel pots. And then let's see how it looks. You see? It turns some green. It does. It turns real pretty green. That's the technique, huh? Yeah. It, You're using the back of the spoon. And I want to show you me mixing in the... Show you me mixing in the blue. Let's see. Mixing in the blue. Ch -ch, mixing in the blue. Ch -ch. Let me see how this green looks when you go like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Crazy times. Like then you can squish. Look at you and go, you little thing. And a little bit of green is coming out. A little bit of green is coming out. It's getting all mixed together. Now, it looks like black, but we know that these are neon colors and pastel colors. So we have every faith that I, I when this, this gets steamed, neon. it's going to be oh, very no. mellow this and pretty. Holy mackerel, don't mess with this child, huh? She's all business. <laughs> Is it working well, baby? I think it looks beautiful. The other one looks amazing too. It looks great. Are you ready? Yeah. Give it the flipper rooney. Yeah, mop it up. Mop it up. Yeah. These are all great techniques, right? This is a great thing for kids to do. Who needs chemical dyes when you can have fun like this, right? If, if you have a kid that likes to rug cook and likes to make their own woods to rug cook with, this could be a good thing to make their woods. That's right. This is a real good thing if you have a kid that likes to rug cook. Yeah. Likes to make woods like me. You, can, you are totally free to use Joss's mop it up technique because it works great. Like that. Ooh. Mopping it up. All right, mama needs a bark collar because I can't stop singing. <laughs> to be continued. Welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I am here with Jocelyn, the artist, and we are looking at the way that your food coloring dyed three ply Briggs and Little Wool came out. Are you pleased? Yes. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. It was a bit of a struggle. I mean, not really. You're so good at everything, but it was a bit of a thing because the way you were kind of kneading your technique for kind of kneading it was like you were fighting a kraken or something a little bit just a little bit <laughs> fighting a kraken fighting a kraken um so you do you want to describe your technique i have most of it on video you use the squirt bottles and the Gel. gels and the gels and you liked both of them and right and we were running out of the ones we bought uh-huh so we had other ones yep um, so we use those as well. Yeah, and you know what? That's a good point because we use the little squirt bottles that come in sets of four. We got the pastel and the neon themes off Amazon. Um, but you do run out of them quick, didn't you? I think one of these alone took a whole bottle of color. And then we were looking well, in the cupboard. Um, one of them took about 75%. About 75% of one bottle. That's a lot. So, you know, it's like, it's not like this is insanely economical. Um, you could easily go through a whole bottle of food coloring on one skein, right? And you've got multi. So let's look at these in the sun a little bit. But I like this basket. Now, let's start with this one over here in the corner. This one? Yeah. What, you can take it out. Now, what, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. This one's mine. That one's your favorite? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about this one for a minute. What color do you call this one? Um, I think before I called it Mossy Fence. Mossy Fence, that's right. You're right. You have a good memory. So let's look at this one. 
Here, put that one back, babe. Yep, sideways, sideways. OCD. Yep, sideways. OCD. <laughs> yeah. Now let's pull out the middle one. Now this one is funny because it has this kind one of or yeah. This one? Yep. This one. Nope, the one right next okay. to it. This one. Yep. Mama getting edgy. No coffee. Um, sorry. <laughs> so okay, so this one's nice because it has a lot of elements. Let's hold it still for a minute. It's got a real sort of fuzzy quality to it, like the color, almost like the purple pigment or the red pigment that attached to the pink and the blue, almost like it's floating on top. What do you call this one, Joss? Hmm. Blueberry ice cream. Blueberry ice cream. Very nice. Now this one's really nice too. This is a much lighter base. I think that was our really light pinky base. Uh, what do you call this guy? I would call it something sky. Something sky. Um, no, I don't know what to put before sky. Well, there was a movie once called Vanilla Sky. It was not one of the great movies of all time. Yeah. But it was an interesting name. What do you think of that? Vanilla or how about sky. how about um how about cotton candy sky? How about bubblegum sky? We'll go with mm. bubblegum sky. Yes. So the video is not twenty five minutes long. Too sky. late. Okay, let's look at this one now. Oh, that one is I really we're pretty. I really like this one too. There's lots of nuances of color. Now, what do you call this one, babe? Hmm. How about Tangerine Dream? Oh, I was thinking Fire Something. Oh, that's right. Um, it was Fire Something. I can't remember. Was it like Marshmallow Fire or something like that? I think that was it. Marshmallow Fire. Yeah, I think so. We always put like a candy name in it. That is super pretty. This is a beautiful autumn color. Again, we just, we had under dyed our colors as you saw at the beginning of the video. Um, and we just used food coloring. This is just food coloring. Now it's not super color fast. You don't want to knit these into a sweater and wash it every other day. Um, it's, it's just not going to last. But for rug hooking, it's going to be great. It's enough color. You don't have every color, and honestly, you can't make I think every I know color. Name for this one. What's your name for that one? Purple I Angel. I love this one. Purple, Purple Angel. Angel. That one really is so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't it look like an angel? Like, this is the, the whiteness, and that is the halo, but Aww. all scrunched up because it's wool. Yeah, you're so literal, you little sweetheart. I like this one. It's very, very soft. And let's look at your favorite one last. Look at those colors. That Look at how nice and bright some of those colors came out. That's yeah. real pretty. What one's that? You already named that one. What was it again? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Yeah. All right. So let's put it back. Now, you know, I think this was a success. If you're um, doing a project... Which one's your favorite? My favorite is still this one, the uh, mossy fence. Okay. And I think followed followed closely by ha, ha, something about, angel. How about the people that watch us comment which one? That's a great idea. How about the people... Ha, how about this one is one, this one's No, two. let's say this one's mossy fence, this one's okay. blueberry something, this one's something sky, this one's fire marshmallow, this one's something angel, and this one's cotton candy. Something angel. <laughs> yeah. These are beautiful, Joss. You did a gorgeous job. Mossy fence, blueberry ice cream, um, vanilla sky? How about bubblegum sky? Bubblegum sky, um... Fire, marshmallow fire, fire marshmallow. Um... Purple Angel. Purple Angel and Cotton Candy. Which one's your favorite? Oh, you're asking the audience. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought you were asking me. I was like, what is going on with your memory? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, Jossie wants to know which one is your favorite. Now, we cannot uh, replicate this again, so we can't offer this for sale. Um, we might we might give some to Gami, and, and Mama's certainly keeping all of these. But what a fun project to do together. It was fast. It was fun. It wasn't super expensive, and it certainly wasn't toxic or dangerous, right? It's fun. Buttons is ready to attack whoever comes near us. All right, you want to say bye to your viewers? Bye. All right, have a great day. Give Comment. it a shot. Give give dying with food color a shot, right? Comment which one's your favorite and give it a shot. That's right. Take care, everybody.